Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're getting back to that shabby experience that is War Tales. So, we left off, we got back to the city after our first uh, little exp expenditure there, or not expenditure, expedition. And we came back, we got a couple levels here, let's see, what do we got for you? An aptitude point. Oh, just these things. Um, He is my bowman, so... I don't really care about constitution. What's willpower? Also increases critical hit. I wonder if I just wait, like, will it let me level up dexterity? I'm going to test that out. And then we got Shabby Brute here. Uh, we'll give him strength because, yeah, he's a brute. There we go. Next. So looking at the map here, we've got our first quest here, and then we got another quest out there. So we're going to start our adventure. Check these guys out. What are you? What are these traders up to? Might interest you. Uh, not attack. I wanted to... Oh, these are the, the wares here. They've got rats. Oh, delicious. Uh, rats, wine, mushrooms, and cheese. Yeah, we're just gonna move on here. Actually, I'm gonna wait for these guys. Maybe they've got more than just freaking rat shit on them. What do you got for us here? Uh, they've got comfrey. Comfrey. Grease. Lockpicks, huh? Nine apiece, though. And a pit. And what is this? Uh, when driven into a rock. Oh, okay. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is sell a little bit here, I think. Nah, forget it. Forget about it. So let's continue on our adventure here. Oh, I got to hold it down. So we've got some herbs out there. I kind of, I don't like how, there we go. Because I was holding it down. These are the guys right here that we're supposed to be attacking. Yep. So I don't know if they see me yet, but I'm just going to try and come up behind them and see if we can get like a sneak attack on these people. Fight them. That nah, didn't look like I get, did not get a sneak attack. It would have been nice. I would have uh, appreciated a nice little sneaky poo there. But this will give us some money. We've got a bear trap there. And we've got three guys. Oh, that's Shabby Brute right there. Actually, I'll keep... Shabby Stabby, the tank. Let's put the tank here. I'll put Pitchfork up here. I'll bring Stabby here, and I'll put the Bowman here. And the rest looks good to me. All right, so let's start off with our tanky boy. Let's get him a move. And let's toss him. I'm going to put him right in front of this guy here. Bring him down. I want to make sure we catch his attention like this. Get the engage so that way we can send our shabby stabby in here and give him an old backstab nice little crit damage there and then i could even back him off well and that one thing i don't like is how i can't like tell them which way to turn i don't know like when i play these types of games like that's kind of important to me i want to make sure i don't hit that bear trap though okay big damage from that guy so this is Lucian. Let's get my brood up here. Oh, does he have a spear? Oh, he has a spear. Um, I am not going to push him out. I want to, because his attack pushes. So I'm going to push him towards the other guy. That'll be great. Thank you. Now you can come over here. Get the engage. We'll get the attack out. Give him a good old knee swacker with that big old club. And these guys got some damage. Ooh, poison too. That'll deal some uh, DOT HP hits to me. So I don't actually care about you too much. I want to bring you back in here. Let's get that backstab again. Just back him out of the exchange. Okay, that's good. Um, again, I want to hit this guy. One, you're gonna. Oh, it's it's him. He's trying to attack. Nope. We're gonna finish off this guy here. Not this turn, but the next turn at least. Ah, oh, man, so close though. Make sure I don't hit that bear trap. I really wanted to try and kill him so I didn't get another round of poisoning on me, but fine. She'll do. She'll do. Right, let's get a move. I'm just going to put him way over here just to get him out of range, out of my archer's way. Did I hit a trap? I didn't even see it. And then the last guy will give you a hit. 
big old damage. Again, we'll move you in so we can get the killing hit here. Yeah, there we go. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning, Maryam. Wait, we got some level ups. We're going to do a repair all. We're going to heal everyone. Um, we're going to take the gold, obviously. We're going to take this dagger. <clears throat> uh, dexterity plus four. That's pretty good with poison. It doesn't have that backstab damage, but we might go for that. Uh, used by the greatest professors in the most prestigious universities in Alazar to avoid having to teach their students one second too long. I wonder what it does. It says it's a trinket, so. All right, we'll continue here. So let's see. Shabby Stabby. Dexterity. Um, so next points, I'd get two Dexterity. So the damage would go to 9 to 11. I'd also get a 1% crit. Um, whereas this will give me 1% crit and 1% crit damage. So let's go with the Dex. Yep, upgrade Dexterity. Beautiful. Oh, does he have a aptitude thing? No. Oop. Do I want to learn? Oh, cancel. Um. Oh, I guess I have to learn one of these things. I thought it was already picked. Let's see. He will have every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat gain this. Yep. Because he's always hit hitting them in the back. So that's perfect for what we want out of him. Um. Again, I want dexterity for you. We're going to hold off. The brute will get some strength. Oh, nothing. Um. His specialization is... Um, deals 79 damage to the targets and applies weakening. Deals 10 damage to all units and applies two poisons to bleeding units. Interesting. Um, disengages the and charges in a straight line. Deals 5 damage to all units in their path. I think I want the weakening. I think I want the weakening for him. And for you, how about every time it kills a unit, how about every time they end their turn next to an ally, and so we'll intentionally put him near allies. Alright, that should do well. I just completed the mission. Fatigue. Oh, we're tired. Uh, let's take a little campy poo. Camp. Right here. Let's rest. I'm gonna eat this, and... There we go. That's perfect. Alright, we gained some points. We got some troops happiness is 13. Awesome stuff. What does this 125 mean? Is that like my bonus? Oh, my wages are 73. Interesting. Okay. I didn't realize my wages were so high. Alright, I'm gonna head back to town. We're gonna get out, turn our quest in. We'll have the wages. And while we're walking, actually, let's look at Stabby here. So he has 9 to 11 damage, 2 decks, and Stab which is the 9 to 11, and then increase the critical hit chance by 30%. This is 8 to 10 damage, and applies a poison. Lose 5% of maximum HP. Can't do an offhand, so if I did that, right, it's 8 to 10 still. And then with the dex... Uh, I'm going to keep the other knife. I'm, I'll sell that one. I want I want that back, that ambush, that 30% chance to crit. I think it's just going to be much better than a 5% a poison, at least at this level when HP is so low. Back to the inn. Uh, let's collect our bounty. Thank you. There's no other easy ones yet, so we'll just head out. Wait, was that, was that three pages or? Review, what did that say? Oh, one out of three accepted. Okay. Bandits, a guard, one of her string of murders. Yeah, we're not doing those. Those look hard, so we're definitely not doing that. All right, so now we're going to head to the east. I think I'm going to go this way around the river and hope I have a pathway up here. I think that'll be my play. So is this our mission here? I don't know if this is the mission. Hold on. Can I... Compendium? No. What, what is it? Where did I see my missions and stuff? Oh, shit. Whatever that is sees me. Let's uh, move up here. Looks like we've got some wild creatures. We're going to fight these, though. Try and hit them with the ambush. Ambush. Aha! It does work. All right, your companions have just ambushed their target. We'll have an advantage. 
Bo three boars level two. That seems pretty high, but we haven't fought actual creatures yet. They've always been like bandits or something, so... Maybe we can get some, like, meat out of this, too. That'd be actually really helpful. Uh, who are you? You're the tank, right? Okay, you can stay there, which means I'm gonna put Stabby here. I'll put the Brute there. And I feel like I'm missing someone. There he is. And I'll put him there, too. Um... Yeah, we're gonna try and focus these people down. So who's first? You're first, so... The one to die is gonna be the one in the middle, because we, we have the most chance of killing him before it's his actual turn. So let's send in the tank. We'll move him here. Yep. Hit him with that. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to send uh, in our our stabby boy. Come on, give us the crit. Oh, it's beautiful stuff. All right. Next is going to be the one on the left here. So I'm going to do... I'm just going to move him just straight back like that. He's going to attack. It's fine. He's going to go right for the tank. It's exactly what we want to see. Now I'm going to send the brood in. I'm going to put him here. And this would give us the weakening, but I don't think I want to. I don't think I need to. You know, I don't think I need to be stingy, though. So let's hit him with the weakening. That way, whatever he hits me with, he's just going to hurt my armor. He's not going to break through it, right? And we'll get the double hit in. Okay, and then you come up here and get that. I couldn't get close enough to a character, obviously. Perfect. So we got two in without taking a hit, which is beautiful. That's kind of exactly how we want this to go, right? Bring our guy over here. Give him a stabby poo. Okay, now I don't know if he's engaged. Oh, no, he is engaged. Okay, so let's send him. He's facing that way. You can see the little arrow. Send him in the back. Give him a stabby poo. Bam. That was a one shot. All right. That was a good fight. I like creatures. Um, I'm going to bring the carcasses because I feel like we can do something with that, right? It says it's food, but I feel like we can do something more with that. Pork. Awesome. Uh, we've got some pristine fangs. Can be used as currency with trackers. Okay. Uh, we got some more leather, and then that's grease. Cool stuff. Um, I'm low on repair parts. Visit a forge in town to buy some. Okay, I'm going to have to make sure to do that. <coughs> so, he's going to be protected, but I want to see what all these do. So, uh, Swordsman, deals 7 damage to all units in the area two times. That's pretty cool. Um, fighter, deals 5 to 6 to the target and applies a destabilization. And then the Protector... The unit protects this. The unit and all allies in the area gain protection. That's pretty cool. And he's a tank, so we're doing it. And I'm gonna do. I want to do constitution. So I'm gonna wait again and see if uh if we'll get that. We want him to be thick, right? Level two. Still have it. Okay. Keep an eye on that. Um. Continue. So that was not the objective. Nope, not the objective. That was just some random wildlife. So. Uh, and on the way here, I only found a couple things of wood, and obviously we got some rocks here now. Maybe we can go see these traders here. Maybe I can get lucky and they'll have, um, have some repair parts on them if we can cut them off here in the pass. Sneak out of the woods, stab them in the face, steal their shit. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, if you guys are loving what War Tales, make sure you leave a comment telling me how what you think so far and if you've been playing it yourself. And also leave that this, leave a, wow, I can't talk today. And leave a like down below if you're loving this too so we can make sure we want to keep this rolling. I interest you in some wares, my lord. Uh, he's got some wood. Buy for five each. Got salt, hooks, and raw materials. I do want these, so take that. Thank you. Um, I could sell this trinket. I just don't know what to do with it. Like, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to sell th sell things. I don't know what to do with it just yet because we don't know how useful they could be for us. Like, imagine selling something so early, like that one trinket, and it's actually, like, super good or something. I'm going to grab this wood. We're going to go talk to these guys as well. Um, I want to repair. Yep. Let's talk to you guys, see what you got going on here. What do you got for wares? I've got uh, I got to pay my guys, too, but it's on the list. Uh, they do have some great stuff, leather and whatnot, but 
I'm going to buy one because for some reason I feel like I needed five for something. I just, it's, it's been a while since we played this, so I'm not really sure, honestly. Can inspect this. All right, there's five more leather. Thank you. Back that up. Grab this wood. I don't know if those are like militia or like, are they going to attack us? Okay, I don't have to fight them. So, okay, so these are desperate refugees. Bandits have been attacking caravans and travelers on the road. This must end now. Our merchants will refuse to travel through Tilton. Help request a refugee's reward. Oh, maybe this is my this is my quest here. Okay. So, yeah, we're going in. Uh, level ones, two poachers, and a hoodie. Hoodie and the blowfish. Hmm. All right, so what's my battlefield looking like? It's nothing crazy. So I've got three guys in the corner, two archers, a stabby boy, and this guy. This guy's the leader. Next unit, no. None of these guys look like the leaders. Who's this? You're the one that's going last, so we could try and kill you quickly, but you're kind of far off, so... Uh, honestly, it kind of looks like we're just going to have to kill this guy. That's the guy right there that we're going for, so... I'm going to send in Shabby Tank over here. Oops. Shabby Tank's going to go here. Archer, my Stabby Boy is going to go here because he can just run in and get him. Same with you. Bow. Brute. Actually, I'm going to send the Brute in because I feel like we need to have the tank over here. Try and hold this line down. I'm going to swap you guys around. Okay. So let's send you in first. But like if I do something like this, right? What is this? Oh, so deal seven damage. Oh, oh, that's how you do that. Okay. So I'm going to hit him and then I'm going to move again so I can get the, um, I think that should lock us up, right? Oh, it doesn't say we're locked, but, hmm. but maybe I can just get the, uh, get the kill here. I'm going to put myself right in front. I can't get the kill. It's all right. We'll send Stabby this way. We'll bring uh, our Warhammer the other way. But that gives us an extra point because we ended that guy's turn next to an ally. Not engaged in combat. I'm going to have to use my protective thing because he's going to get pelted with arrows in a second here. Poisoned. So let's do this. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's use this protect. So what does protection do? Damage taken reduced by 30, okay. Fine with me. We're gonna need that because he's about to get hit again, so. And I'm gonna bring you up to here. Can I hit him from here? Nope, a little bit further. Got him. Okay. And then I'll just end his turn. Just over here. Okay. And then here. These guys aren't engaged, which is quite unfortunate. He moved away, I guess. So I'm just going to have to go in here and, and hit him with the engage anyways. Because we need this big damage. Alright, new round. So he can kill him. And I'm going to move him into these guys' range. Because these look like longbows. I don't know if they have a have a range on them. But if I at least engage this guy, perhaps he can't get me. We'll find out. Yeah, we're not engaged either. So, cool. Uh, I'm going to bring him in here. Just take him down a chunk. Yep, so he can't use his bow because we're too close, so we got to get the engagement in here. I do this. Oh, that's my guy. I can't end on next to another ally, but that's fine. We'll hit him. 79%, that's a chance to take. Got him. And that should be good enough right there. Angle this right so we don't hit our boy. 12 damage. See you later, sucker. No point in moving him. 
We only got half a meter to go. Ooh, big pushback. He can't really do anything. We're just gonna send him up. And actually, he could have. Damn, I could have done a heal, but shoot, messed that up. New round is starting. Okay, actually, so let me send you over here. And I'm gonna hit you. And that turn. I'm gonna send you to here. I'm gonna hit you with a heal. And then I'm just gonna kind of move him away a little bit. Then we're gonna follow up with this guy. Maybe get the one hit kill here. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so we got some corpses again. Obviously, I don't think we have a need for that. What is this? Uh, item iron torque dot name. Well, that sounds broken. Okay, interesting. It is an early access, so it's fine. Uh, this ribbon is used to adorn the most beautiful attire in Gossenberg. Interesting. Uh, so what do we got? Shabby Bowman is still level two. Shabby Tank is also level two, but we can give him nothing. Alright, so we can't do a repair, but I will do a repair on him. Yeah, repair that. Oops. And we'll continue. Please have mercy, good sirs. Have mercy on us. We didn't attack you to hurt you. Believe me, we only wanted to scare you so that you would hand over your crowns. Yes, that's it. That's it. Please don't hurt me. I was wrong, and we knew it, but Gossenberg requires so much gold to cross the border, and we have no choice. We had no other choice but to rob you. Uh, I could give him a border pass if I had one, and I get a hunter's bow. That's nice. I wish I could come back or give him a bunch of money. Uh, we'll just kill him and get some cloth. I've just completed the mission. Awesome. Oh, th what's this? Is this my cloth? It was a rock. Probably just iron. Just fine with me. We need iron. All right, I'm going to head back to town. I'm going to take this way just so I can uncover some map, though. Uh, that... Looks like the bridge that that guy was probably talking about. Let's head up there and just kind of see uh, if we get a little cutscene kind of thing or some more information about what we need to do or where we're going. Oh, uh, progress made in the discoveries. Yep, Gossenberg Bridge. Let's click it. So, get this guy. May not look wealthy, but if you pay for my passage, you won't regret it. Trust me, my cousin lives in the city state of Gossenberg in the Goldsmith District, to be precise. If you can lend me the money, I promise he will pay you back threefold. I'm not lying. He truly exists. 200 gold. Okay, we'll leave. We'll think about it. What's your inspect here? You got like nothing on you. You're a poor little civilian boy. Interesting. You too? Yep. What, what's your story? You have the money to cross. I don't know where to go from here. Okay, you're just a sad little little man. Uh, anything to steal? No, doesn't seem that way. All right, we'll talk to the main guy here. What's up, boss? Uh, Charity, you, know, you need an official pass to enter Gossenberg unless you are willing to pay. Up to you. Give a border pass, pay, or leave. Okay, so that's our options for now. So that's what we do here. We can pay 200 to progress that way, but I can assume that we get some sort of border pass maybe by doing some missions around here or helping out the mayor some, perhaps? Perhaps? Took a quick rest because we were fatigued. We gained two more thingies. Uh, we got some happiness. Total troop happiness is 15. My companions are happy and I have gained 10. Um, I forget what that is. Honor? Influence. And uh, you've gained the fallen bonus experience. Gained in combat increased by 15%. So that must be because they're happy, which is great. So they are happy. I paid my um, my wages while we were in there. So. Uh, so to pay your wages, you just do it at the campfire. Like when you go to feed them, it just says pay wages. Nothing crazy there. Looks like we got fishing too, but I know I probably can't do anything with that. I don't have any fishing gear, so that's fine. What's up here? Guard outpost, what's up? Oh, hold on. Oh, I wanted to talk to those guys. Hold on, let me back up real quick. Go talk to these traders here. Potentially sell some stuff. Like, do these sell? No. Uh, what do you got? Nothing great. They got some coal and salt and lock picks, but I need repair parts right now. Like, that's my big stick. Uh, neither. Alright, grab this. I'm gonna grab that, and then we're gonna go check out this guard post. Into the guard post, we got, uh, this guy's outlined in purple, but let's see who else we got here. It doesn't look like I can steal anything. How boring. I probably wouldn't. Oh, a golden key? 
Okay, I gotta figure out how to get one of those. Uh, let's talk to you first. Nothing's beneath him. Bethram stole two cows and a calf from your brother-in-law. Okay. Uh, you'll never help the refugees after what happened. They're all just like Bethram, lawless scoundrels, all of them. Okay, something tells me we're gonna go do something with this Bethram here. You think that we have to camp out here because some pig-headed bandit, that bathroom will stop at nothing to terrorize those yokels, but when it comes to facing the guard, there's a whole other matter. You see that cave to the north? He's holed up in there. It's been three days, and he still won't surrender. Bathroom knows what he's done. He knows he's done for, yet he continues defending his lair with such a dodgedness that we have no choice but to starve him to death. That's why I need mercenaries. He doesn't, he doesn't know you. He might even let you, let you in if he thinks you can convince him to help him. And once you've gained his trust, you can finish him off for us. We'll make it worth your while. Um, I'll get 20, oh, scenario points. Okay. So this is how I start the scenario, I guess. Okay. I don't like that. That's cool. So I got to leave here. Uh, do you do anything else for me? Okay. No, just tell me the same story. What's your stats here? Oh, he's pretty strong. I want this war bow. That's nice. Can I steal that from you? I'd like to do that. All right, well, let's go uh, fight this Bertram guy, I guess, right? Why not? Why don't we hit save first? I don't know if there's like a hard mission or something. Okay. Sinister cave. Oh, that sounds friendly. Are these these guys, that's Bertram right there. Locked with a golden key. Okay. Do you think that four years ago, Bertram and I spent our days driving oxen? Seems like a lifetime ago. Okay. So, Bertram, what do you tell me? Ah, uh, mercenaries. Robin hired to kill you. I beg you, don't do this. We do not enjoy bullying the farmers. We know we have no choice if we want to survive. Robin is one, one who must die. I will match his offer. In fact, I can pay you more, and you'd be doing a good deed. Once he is gone, the farmers of Tiltrum will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Kill the captain is the only solution. So, kill Bertram for the captain. Um, Get 100 gold. I don't know what the... what my quest line was. I kind of wish I knew how to take a little look at that there. It's all right. Um, agree to kill the captain. Should I kill the captain or kill this guy? Here, how about this? I'm going to end the episode here. Leave me a comment down below and you tell me which scenario we're going to go with. Are we going to kill Bertram the bandit for Captain Ro Rovind or are we going to agree to kill Captain Rovind for Bertram? All right. Let us know down below in the comments which one you want to see. And if you're loving this, make sure you hit that like button as well. And as usual, if you are new here, I appreciate you stopping by. I'd also appreciate if you drop to subscribe as well. And if you want to see that next episode, make sure you hit that bell so you can get back here for that sweet, shabby content. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Do, and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.